The rain lashed against the windows of the abandoned warehouse, the drumming of the drops nearly drowning out the sharp click of Samantha Ray's heels on the concrete. Her heart pounded in time with her steps, adrenaline coursing through her veins as she approached the clandestine meeting point. Brushing a strand of rain-soaked hair from her eyes with a leather-gloved hand, she paused before the rusted metal door. The determined set of her jaw belied the tempest raging within her, the war between duty and desire that had brought her to this moment. She drew in a breath and knocked twice, the secret code her contact had provided. The door creaked open, revealing a pair of piercing blue eyes that sent a shiver down her spine. Eyes that had haunted her dreams and made her question everything she thought she knew about loyalty, family, and her own heart. Samantha.i? His voice was low, gravelly, with an undercurrent of danger that she knew all too well. I wasn't sure you'd come. I almost didn't, she admitted, stepping into the shadowed interior. The door swung shut with a clang, sealing them in a bubble of tense intimacy. Aiden, this is madness. If my brother finds out, he won't. Aiden's hands gripped her shoulders, his touch searing even through the damp fabric of her coat. Not until it's too late. Samantha shook her head, a mirthless laugh bubbling up her throat. You don't know him like I do. Damien's obsessed with control, with power. He'll stop at nothing to keep his empire intact. Aiden's eyes softened, one hand lifting to cup her cheek. Which is why you're the only one who can stop him, Samantha. You're already in his inner circle. All you need to do is play along until we have enough evidence to bring him down. She closed her eyes, leaning into his touch despite the warning bells clanging in her skull. This man, this irresistible force that had crashed into her carefully ordered world and set it spinning off its axis, was asking her to risk everything. Her career, her life, even her battered, half-broken heart. And what about us? She whispered. What happens when this is all over? Aiden's lips brushed her forehead, a gesture so tender it made her ache. Then we'll finally be free. Free to walk away from the shadows, from the lies. Free to love each other without fear. Love. The word hung in the air between them, a fragile promise in a world built on deceit. Samantha knew it was foolish, dangerous to even dream of a future beyond the mission. But here, cocooned in the warmth of Aiden's arms, she let herself believe. Just for a moment. She tilted her chin up, capturing his lips in a searing kiss that tasted of rain and desperation, and the forbidden. He responded with equal fervor, strong hands splaying across her back to crush her against the hard planes of his chest. A sudden bang shattered the spell, sending them springing apart. Footsteps echoed from the depths of the warehouse, heavy and purposeful. A cold knot of dread settled in Samantha's gut. Aiden's eyes locked on hers, mirroring her fear. He knows, he breathed. The footsteps grew louder, closer. A figure emerged from the shadows, the dim light glinting off the sleek barrel of a gun. Samantha's blood turned to ice as she recognized the cruel, smirking face of her brother. Well, well, Damien drawled. Isn't this cozy? Aiden stepped in front of her, shielding her with his body even as he raised his own weapon. Damien, listen to me. Oh, I'm done listening. Damien's gaze cut to Samantha, a mocking sneer twisting his lips. Dear sister, did you really think you could betray me and just walk away? Samantha swallowed hard, fingers itching for her own gun. But it was too far out of reach, tucked into her undercover prop of a purse on the ground. She lifted her chin, refusing to let Damien see her fear. It's over, Damien, she said surprised at the steadiness of her own voice. The authorities know everything. It's just a matter of time before they catch up to you. Damien barked out a harsh laugh. Oh, Samantha, so naive. Who do you think the authorities answer to in this city? His eyes glittered with malice. Me. Aiden's finger tightened on the trigger. Don't do this, Damien. I'm warning you. Warning me? Damien's face contorted with rage. You dare threaten me, you lovesick fool? I should have disposed of you long ago, before you had a chance to fill my sister's head with your pathetic notions of love and redemption. 
Samantha's heart clenched. She'd known her brother was ruthless, but this? This was a side of him she'd never seen. A darkness that chilled her to the bone. It's not too late, she pleaded, hating the tremor in her voice. Damien, please. You're my brother. I know there's still good in you. For a moment, just a fleeting heartbeat. Something flickered in Damien's eyes. A shadow of the boy he'd once been. The brother she'd adored. But it was gone as quickly as it had come. Swallowed by a coldness that turned her blood to ice. No, Samantha, he said flatly. There isn't. Time seemed to slow as his finger tightened on the trigger. Samantha saw Aiden tense, preparing to lunge. She saw the flash of the muzzle, heard the deafening crack of the shot. And then the world exploded into chaos. The acrid scent of gunpowder hung in the air, mingling with the metallic tang of blood. Samantha blinked, her ears ringing from the echo of the shot. Aiden lay crumpled at her feet, his once white shirt blooming crimson. No! The scream tore from her throat, raw and primal. She dropped to her knees beside him, hands shaking as she pressed against the wound in his chest. Aiden, stay with me. Please. His eyelids fluttered, a sheen of sweat glistening on his too pale skin. Samantha, he rasped, blood flecking his lips. I, I'm sorry. Tears blurred her vision, hot and stinging. Don't you dare apologize. You're going to be fine, you hear me? A ghost of a smile touched his mouth. Always, so stubborn. A shadow fell across them, and Samantha looked up to see Damien looming over her, his expression unreadable. The gun dangled from his fingers, wispy tendrils of smoke still curling from the barrel. Get away from him, she snarled, a wildfire of grief and fury consuming her. Haven't you done enough? Damien's lips thinned. He knew the price of betrayal. As do you. He nodded to someone behind her. Take her. Strong hands gripped her arms, hauling her away from Aiden's broken body. She thrashed against the iron hold, a howl of anguish ripping from her lungs. No. Aiden. But it was too late. The darkness swallowed her. The image of Aiden's blood-stained face seared into her mind as she was dragged away. On. Samantha paced the length of the opulent bedroom her prison of silk and shadows. Beyond the floor-to-ceiling windows, the city glittered like a jewel, deceptively beautiful. A gilded cage, just like the rest of her brother's domain. Three days. Three days since Damien's men had locked her away in this room, this twisted mockery of concern for her safety. Three days of not knowing if Aiden was alive or dead, if she would ever see his piercing blue eyes again. The uncertainty was a yawning chasm in her chest, threatening to swallow her whole. The click of the door's lock snapped her from her spiraling thoughts. She whirled to face her visitor, fists clenched at her sides. Damien stepped into the room, impeccable as ever in a crisp black suit. Not a hair out of place, not a flicker of remorse on his chiseled features. Dear sister, he greeted, a serpentine smile curving his mouth. You're looking well. Samantha bit back a snarl, nails digging into her palms. Spare me the pleasantries, Damien. Where is he? Damien arched a brow. Eee? Ah, you mean your traitorous lover. He gave a dismissive wave. Receiving the best medical care money can buy, of course. I'm not a complete monster. Relief and dread warred within her. Aiden was alive. But for how long? How far would Damien go to keep his empire of shadows? Let me see him, she demanded, hating the note of desperation in her voice. Damien, please. I need to know he's okay. Something dangerous flickered in her brother's eyes, a glimpse of the ruthless man beneath the polished veneer. And why should I grant you anything, Samantha? You betrayed me. Betrayed your own blood for a pretty face and empty promises. She recoiled as if slapped a bitter laugh welling up her throat. Blood? Is that what you call this? Locking me away? Hurting the people I love? That's not family, Damien. That's madness. He studied her for a long moment, inscrutable. 
Then, to her shock, he reached out and brushed a strand of hair from her face. A tender gesture, starkly at odds with the coldness in his gaze. Madness, he echoed softly. Perhaps it is. But it's the only way to protect what's mine. To protect you. Samantha stared at him, searching for a glimmer of the brother she'd once known. The boy who'd chased away her nightmares who'd sworn to always keep her safe. But all she saw was a stranger, a man consumed by his own twisted obsessions. I don't need your protection, she whispered. I need you to let me go. To let Aiden go. Please, Damien. It's not too late to walk away from this. For a heartbeat, a war raged in Damien's eyes. Then, like a candle snuffed out, the light vanished. He stepped back, straightening his cuffs with a detached air. I'm afraid I can't do that, Samantha. You're too important to my plans. And your lover? Well, we'll just have to see how cooperative he's feeling once he's healed, won't we? Ice flooded her veins. What are you saying? Damien smiled, a snake in the garden. You'll see soon enough. In the meantime, I suggest you get comfortable. You're going to be here for a while. He turned to leave, pausing at the door. Oh, and Samantha. Don't bother trying to escape. You won't get far. With that, he was gone. The lock clicking back into place with a finality that echoed in her bones. Samantha sank to the floor, heart racing. Damien's words replayed in her mind a sinister promise of darker things to come. She had to get out of here, had to find Aiden before it was too late. But how? Damien held all the cards and she was just a pawn in his twisted game. A pawn he'd sacrifice without hesitation if she pushed him too far. Samantha closed her eyes, forcing herself to breathe past the panic clawing at her throat. She couldn't give in to despair. Not now. Now? Aiden needed her. And if there was one thing Samantha Ray knew how to do, it was fight. Even if it meant going to war with her own blood. The days bled together, a haze of restless pacing and fitful sleep. Samantha's world had narrowed to the confines of her gilded prison, the unrelenting cycle of her thoughts. Aiden's face haunted her dreams, his agonized expression as the bullet tore through him. The ghost of his touch lingered on her skin a bittersweet reminder of the stolen moments they'd shared. She'd tried everything to escape, picking the lock with a hairpin, feigning illness to lure the guards in. But Damien was always one step ahead, his men as cold and unyielding as the bars on her windows. She was trapped, a bird with clipped wings, while the man she loved suffered God knows what horrors at her brother's hand. A knock at the door jolted her from her spiral of despair. She tensed, expecting Damien's serpentine smile, his mocking eyes. But it was a woman who entered, a maid carrying a tray of food. The maid had kept her gaze downcast as she set the tray on the table, her movements swift and efficient. But as she turned to leave, Samantha caught a flicker of something in her eyes. Something that looked like sympathy. A flicker of hope ignited in Samantha's chest. She stepped forward, keeping her voice low. Please. You have to help me. The maid's eyes widened, darting to the door. I... Huh? I can't. If your brother finds out... Samantha clasped the woman's hands, desperation overriding caution. He's going to kill the man I love. I... can't let that happen. P please A war played out on the maid's face, fear and compassion battling for dominance. Then, with a shaky exhale... She pressed something cold and hard into Samantha's palm. Don't make me regret this, she whispered. And then she was gone, the door clicking shut behind her. Samantha looked down at the object in her hand, heart pounding. Ah. Uh, <sighs> Small, unassuming, but it might as well have been the Holy Grail. She didn't hesitate. The lock yielded with a soft snick, the door swinging open on well-oiled hinges. Beyond lay a dark hallway, empty and beckoning. Samantha slipped out, the plush carpet muffling her footsteps as she navigated the maze of Damien's mansion. Every shadow made her heart lurch, every creak of the floorboards a gunshot in the silence. 
But she pressed on, driven by a single consuming thought, find Aiden. Save him from the monster wearing her brother's face. She turned a corner and froze. There, at the end of the hall, stood two armed guards, their backs to her. They flanked a heavy steel door, the kind that hid secrets and swallowed screams. The kind that whispered of Aiden's fate. Samantha's mind raced, adrenaline sharpening her senses. She had no weapon, no plan. Just a desperate clawing need to reach him. To touch him, hold him, even if it was for the last time. She was still debating her next move when a voice shattered the silence. Going somewhere, sister dear? Ice flooded her veins. She turned slowly, already knowing what she would see. Damien stood behind her, flanked by a phalanx of his men. The coldness in his eyes turned the blood to frost in her veins. Damien. Dot. She lifted her chin, refusing to let him see her fear. Where is he? What have you done with Aiden? A cruel smile curved her brother's lips. Aiden, is it? Not so formal now, are we? He stepped closer, the spicy scent of his cologne cloying in her nostrils. I must say, I'm impressed. I didn't think you had it in you to defy me so boldly. Samantha held her ground, even as every instinct screamed at her to run. I'm not afraid of you, Damien. Not anymore. Oh, but you should be. Quick as a snake, he seized her arm, fingers biting into her flesh. You have no idea what I'm capable of. The lengths I'll go to keep what's mine. She stared at him, searching for a glimmer of the brother she'd once adored. But all she saw was a stranger, a monster consumed by his own twisted desires. I'm not yours, she whispered. I never was. Something dangerous flickered in Damien's eyes, a glimpse of the madness lurking beneath the surface. We'll see about that. He nodded to his men, his grip on her arm tightening. Bring her. It's time for a little family reunion. The guards seized her, their hands like iron bands on her arms. She thrashed against their hold, a scream building in her throat. But it was no use. They dragged her down the hall, toward the steel door that held her worst fears and her deepest hopes. Toward Aiden. The door swung open with an ominous creak, revealing a dimly lit room. The scent of blood and sweat assailed her nostrils, mingling with the tang of something chemical. Something that whispered of pain and despair. And there, in the center of the room, was Aiden. He hung from chains bolted to the ceiling, his wrists raw and bleeding. His once pristine shirt hung in tatters, revealing a patchwork of bruises and cuts that turned Samantha's stomach. But it was his eyes that broke her, those brilliant blue eyes that had once looked at her with such warmth, such love. Now they were dull, glassy with pain and despair. Defeated. Aiden, she breathed, her voice cracking. Oh God, Aiden. He lifted his head with an effort, his gaze finding hers. A ghost of a smile touched his split lips. Samantha, he rasped. You shouldn't be here. Tears blurred her vision, hot and stinging. I couldn't leave you. I had to try. Damien's laughter sliced through the charged air, cruel and mocking. How touching. The doomed lovers, reunited at last. He circled Aiden like a shark scenting blood. Tell me, sister dear. Was he worth it? Worth betraying your own flesh and blood? Samantha held her head high, even as grief and terror clawed at her throat. Yes, she whispered. He was worth everything. Damien's face contorted, a mask of rage and something deeper. Something that looked like pain. Then, you can watch him die. He reached into his suit jacket, pulling out a sleek black pistol. Time seemed to slow as he leveled it at Aiden's head, his finger tightening on the trigger. No! The scream tore from Samantha's throat, raw and primal. She lunged forward, not caring about the hands that tried to restrain her. Not caring about anything but the man she loved, the man she'd gladly die for. The world exploded in a cacophony of sound and fury. The crack of a gunshot, the shouts of the guards. Searing pain blossoming in her chest. And then, 
As she crumpled to the cold concrete, a blinding white light that swallowed everything. Pain, dying one. It was the first thing Samantha became aware of as consciousness returned, a searing agony that radiated from her chest and set every nerve ending alight. She tried to move, to cry out, but her body felt leaden, unresponsive. Dimly, she registered a steady beeping, the antiseptic scent of a hospital. Fragments of memory danced through her hazy mind, Aiden's bruised and bloodied face, Damien's cruel sneer, the crack of a gunshot. Had she been hit? Was Aiden? Samantha? A voice cut through the fog, achingly familiar. Samantha, can you hear me? With an effort, she pried her eyes open, blinking against the harsh fluorescent light. A face swam into view, all sharp angles and piercing blue eyes. Eyes that were currently bright with unshed tears. Aiden, she croaked, her throat dry and scratchy. You're alive. A shaky laugh escaped him, his hand finding hers on the starched hospital sheets. Thanks to you. That bullet was meant for me. Memories rushed back in a dizzying flood. Launching herself at Damien, the white-hot pain as the shot meant for Aiden tore through her instead. The world going black as she fell. Damien, she whispered, fear an icy fist around her heart. Where is he? What happened? Aiden's jaw clenched, a muscle ticking in his cheek. He's in custody. After he, after he shot you, all hell broke loose. His men turned on him, believe it or not. Seems even they had limits? Relief crashed over her in a heady wave, followed quickly by a surge of grief. Her brother, her flesh and blood, had tried to murder the man she loved, had shot her without hesitation. The betrayal cut deeper than any bullet ever could. I'm sorry, Aiden said softly, as if reading her thoughts. I know he was your brother, but... No. Samantha shook her head, ignoring the stab of pain the movement caused. He stopped being my brother the moment he chose power over family. Over love. Tears burned her eyes, spilled down her cheeks. I just... <sighs> I never thought he'd go this far. Aiden gathered her into his arms, mindful of her injury. She clung to him, breathing in his familiar scent beneath the hospital antiseptic. He was battered and bruised, but alive. They both were. It was more than she dared to hope for. It's over now, Aiden murmured into her hair. Damien's empire is crumbling. The authorities have enough evidence to put him away for life. But even as relief loosened the knot in her chest, a tiny seed of doubt took root. It had all seemed too easy, Damien's men turning on him, the empire toppling like a house of cards. Her brother was ruthless, cunning. He always had a backup plan, a final ace up his sleeve. Could it really be over, just like that? As if in answer to her unspoken question, a commotion erupted outside her hospital room. Raised voices, the pounding of footsteps. Aiden tensed, pushing her behind him as the door burst open. Samantha's heart seized. There, framed in the doorway, was a ghost. A phantom that had haunted her dreams and fueled her nightmares since she was a little girl. Hello, Samantha. The woman's voice was like silk over steel, her green eyes sharp and assessing. Eyes that were a perfect mirror of Samantha's own. Is that any way to greet your mother? Shock robbed Samantha of breath, of thought. This couldn't be real. Her mother was dead, had been for years. Damien had told her. But Damien had told her a lot of things, hadn't he? Lies upon lies. A web of deceit that had nearly strangled her. Mom? The word caught in her throat, childlike and disbelieving. How? The woman stepped into the room, all sleek elegance and cold beauty. Your brother's been keeping secrets, dear. Quite a few of them. Her lips curved in a smile that didn't reach her eyes, including the fact that I've been helping him run his empire for years. Samantha felt like the ground had dropped out from under her, sending her free-falling into a nightmare. Her mother, the woman she'd mourned, idolized, a criminal. A liar, just like Damien. 
Aiden's grip tightened on her hand, his body coiled with tension. What do you want? He bit out. Samantha's mother skecked, shaking her head. Now, is that any way to speak to your future mother-in-law? Her gaze cut to Samantha, sharp as a blade. Assuming, of course, my daughter still intends to marry you. After all, she has a family business to run now. Ice flooded Samantha's veins, a sick understanding dawning. Damien is taking the fall. Her mother's smile turned cold, calculating. As far as the world is concerned, he acted alone. The grieving sister, taking over her brother's legitimate business interests in the wake of his shocking crimes. She spread her hands, a mockery of maternal pride. It's quite the story. Samantha shook her head, numb with horror and disbelief. No, no, I won't do it. I won't be a part of this. Her mother's eyes hardened, a glimmer of the ruthless woman beneath the polished facade. You don't have a choice, Samantha. This is your birthright. Your legacy. She glanced at Aiden, lip curling. Unless, of course, you're willing to sacrifice your lover's freedom for your principles. Aiden stiffened, his hand tightening on Samantha's. What are you saying? I'm saying that if Samantha doesn't take her rightful place at the head of this family, certain evidence might find its way into the hands of the authorities. Evidence that implicates you in my son's crimes. Her smile turned poisonous. You'll rot in a cell for the rest of your life. And Samantha, well, she'll learn the hard way what happens to those who defy me. Samantha felt like she'd been punched in the gut, all the air leaving her lungs in a rush. This couldn't be happening. She couldn't lose Aiden, couldn't bear to see him suffer for her family's sins. But to take her place at the head of an empire built on blood and secrets, to become the very thing she'd spent her life fighting against, it would destroy her, hollow her out until there was nothing left but a shell, a puppet dancing to her mother's twisted tune. She looked at Aiden, saw the love and anguish warring in his eyes. He would do it, she realized. He would sacrifice his freedom, his very soul, to keep her safe, just as she would do for him. Well, Samantha, her mother's voice cut through the charged silence, a silken taunt. What will it be? Your lover or your legacy? Samantha closed her eyes, tears leaking from beneath her lids. In that moment she saw her future stretch out before her, bleak and inescapable. A gilded cage, a life spent in the shadows. A life without Aiden. But beneath the despair, a tiny flicker of defiance sparked to life. A ember that refused to be extinguished, no matter how her mother tried to smother it. She was Samantha Raydol. A fighter, a survivor. And she would not let this break her. She opened her eyes, meeting her mother's gaze with a steely resolve. I choose. Neither. The word fell from Samantha's lips like a gauntlet, a challenge thrown down at her mother's feet. She straightened her spine, ignoring the pull of her stitches, the ache in her heart. Beside her, Aiden tensed, his grip on her hand tightening. Her mother's eyes narrowed, a flicker of surprise quickly masked by icy disdain. Don't be foolish, Samantha. You have no other choice. That's where you're wrong. Samantha's voice was steady, fueled by a lifetime of anger and hurt. I spent my whole life believing I had no choice. That I was trapped by my father's death, by Damien's cruelty, by your absence. She shook her head, a mirthless laugh bubbling up her throat. But it was all a lie, wasn't it? A manipulation. Just like everything else. Samantha? Aiden's voice was a warning, a plea. She squeezed his hand, drawing strength from his presence. I won't do it, Mom. I won't be your puppet or Damien's. I'm done letting this family's poisonous legacy dictate my life. She met her mother's gaze, unflinching. And if you think I'll stand by and let you destroy the man I love, you don't know me at all. Her mother's lips thinned, a hairline fracture in her mask of control. You're making a mistake, Samantha. One you'll regret. The only mistake I made was believing I could ever earn your love. Your approval? Grief and anger warred in Samantha's chest, 
a lifetime of buried pain clawing its way to the surface. But I see now that you're incapable of love, of anything but your own selfish desires. She turned to Aiden, her heart in her eyes. I choose you, Aiden. I choose us. And if that means spending the rest of my life looking over my shoulder, then so be it. As long as we're together. Aiden's answering smile was fierce, proud. Always, he vowed. It's you and me, Samantha. No matter what. Her mother's face contorted, a snarl of thwarted rage. You ungrateful child. After everything I've done for you. You've done nothing for me, Samantha cut in, her voice like a whip. Except show me exactly the kind of person I never want to be. She turned her back on her mother, on the family that had brought her nothing but pain. Come on, Aiden. Let's go. They made it halfway to the door before her mother's voice stopped them, cold and venomous. You walk out that door, Samantha, and you're dead to me. You'll have nothing. Be nothing. Samantha paused, a smile playing at the corners of her mouth. Oh, I'll have something, mother. Something you could never understand. She looked at Aiden, her eyes shining. Love, love. Real, true love. And that's worth more than all the power and wealth in the world. With that, she took Aiden's hand and walked out the door, into a future uncertain but full of promise. Full of hope. They made it as far as the hospital parking lot, before the reality of their situation came crashing down. Samantha leaned heavily against Aiden's side, her breath coming in shallow gasps. The adrenaline that had sustained her through the confrontation was fading, leaving bone-deep exhaustion and a throbbing pain in her chest in its wake. Easy, Aiden murmured, his arm tightening around her waist. We need to get you back inside. You're in no condition to be up and about. Samantha shook her head, stubborn even as her legs threatened to give out. No, about. I can't stay here. It's not safe. Fear clawed at her throat, cold and choking. My mother. Damien. They'll never let us go. Not really. Aiden's jaw clenched, his eyes hard. They'll have to go through me first. A shaky laugh escaped Samantha's lips. My hero. But beneath the teasing, genuine warmth bloomed in her chest. Aiden loved her. Would fight for her, die for her. It was a love she'd never known, never dared to dream of. A love she'd risk everything for. We need a plan, she said, forcing herself to focus past the pain and exhaustion. We can't just run blindly. They'll find us. Aiden nodded, his mind already racing. We need allies. Resources. A slow smile curved his lips, edged with determination. And I think I know just where to start. Hours later, ensconced in a nondescript motel room on the outskirts of the city, Samantha watched as Aiden paced the stained carpet, his phone pressed to his ear. He was speaking in low, urgent tones to someone, his free hand raking through his hair in agitation. Worry gnawed at her gut, mingling with the ever-present fear. They ditched their phones, paid for the room in cash under assumed names. But it still felt like they were balanced on a knife's edge, one misstep away from disaster, one misstep away from losing each other forever. Aiden ended the call with a muttered curse, tossing the burner phone onto the bed. Samantha sat up straighter, ignoring the pull of her stitches. What is it? What's wrong? Aiden sighed, dropping down beside her. That was my contact at the FBI. They've been building a case against your family for years, but they could never get anything concrete. Damien and your mother, they're too good at covering their tracks. Samantha's heart sank. So, we're on our own. Not quite. Aiden took her hand, his thumb brushing over her knuckles. My contact says they're willing to offer us protection, new identities, if we testify. Help them bring down your family's empire once and for all. Samantha stared at him, hope and fear warring in her chest. Witness protection? Aiden nodded. It's our best shot, Samantha. Our only shot at a real future together. His eyes searched hers, deep and intense. But it means leaving everything behind. Your whole life. Are you ready for that? 
Was she? Samantha thought of the life she'd built, the career she'd poured her heart into, the few friends she'd managed to make despite the walls she'd erected around her heart. Could she really walk away from all of that? Start over as someone new? Someone untouched by her family's darkness? She looked at Aiden, at the love and fierce determination shining in his eyes. And she knew with a certainty that stole her breath, that she could. That she would. For him. For them. Yes, she whispered, twining her fingers with his. I'm ready. As long as I'm with you, I'm ready for anything. Aiden's answering smile was blinding, joyful. He cupped her face in his hands, his lips finding hers in a kiss that seared her to her soul. A kiss that tasted of hope, of future. Of love strong enough to weather any storm. They clung to each other as the world fell away, lost in a moment of perfect peace. But, like all moments, it was fleeting. Too soon, reality came crashing back in the form of a pounding on the motel room door, urgent and insistent. Aiden tensed, his body coiling with protective instinct as he pushed Samantha behind him. Stay here, he murmured, reaching for the gun at his waistband. Samantha's heart lodged in her throat as he moved toward the door, every sense on high alert. This was it. Their future, hanging in the balance. A chance at a life free from the shadows, the secrets. A chance to finally, truly live. Aiden's hand closed around the doorknob. He glanced back at Samantha, his eyes holding a promise. A vow. No matter what waited on the other side, they would face it together. Always. He took a deep breath and flung open the door. The sun danced on the sparkling blue waters of the Mediterranean, a dazzling tapestry of light and color. On a terrace overlooking the sea, Samantha Ray sat at a wrought iron table, a cup of steaming coffee cradled in her hands. A soft breeze played with her hair, longer, now and threaded with golden highlights, a far cry from the severe auburn bun of her former life. Five years. Five years since she'd walked away from everything she'd ever known, hand in hand with the man who'd shown her what true love, true courage really meant. Five years of building a new life brick by brick, free from the shadows of her family's dark legacy. It hadn't been easy. Those first few months in witness protection had been a whirlwind of new names, new identities, always looking over their shoulders. But through it all, Aiden had been her rock, her shelter in the storm. With him by her side, Samantha had found the strength to face her demons, to testify against her mother and brother in a court of law. The trial had been a media circus, every sordid detail of the Blackthorn Empire splashed across headlines around the world. But in the end, justice had prevailed. Damien and their mother were behind bars, their poisonous influence cut off at the root. And Samantha. Samantha was free. Free to live, to love, to finally chase the dreams she'd buried for so long. The sound of laughter drew her gaze to the beach below where a man and a little girl played in the surf. Aiden, his once dark hair now sun-streaked and falling into his eyes, chased their daughter through the shallows, her delighted squeals carrying on the breeze. Hope. Hope. Their little miracle, born in the midst of the chaos, the uncertainty. A tangible reminder of the love that had sustained them, the future they'd fought so hard to build. As if sensing her gaze, Aiden looked up, his eyes meeting Samantha's across the distance. The love in them, as deep and constant as the sea itself, still took her breath away. He said something to Hope, pointing up at the terrace, and the little girl waved, her grin wide and gap to. Mommy, she called, her pigtails bouncing as she ran towards the stone steps leading up to the villa. Come play with us. Samantha laughed the sound free and joyful. She set down her coffee cup and rose to her feet, the gauzy white sundress she wore fluttering in the breeze. Five years ago, she could never have imagined this. This peace, this contentment, this all-consuming love that filled every crack and crevice of her once broken heart. But now, as she descended the steps to join her family, her true family, on the sun-drenched sand, she knew she wouldn't trade it for anything. Not for wealth or power or any of the hollow trappings of her old life. 
In losing everything, she'd gain something infinitely more precious. Something real, and true, and unshakable. Aiden caught her in his arms as she reached the bottom step, his lips finding hers in a kiss that held the promise of forever. Hope danced around their legs, giggling and tugging at their hands, eager to play. And as Samantha let herself be pulled into the surf, Aiden's hand warm and strong in hers, their daughter's laughter ringing in her ears, she knew that this, this moment, this life, was what she'd been fighting for all along. Not just survival, but a chance to truly live. To love and be loved without fear or reservation. To finally, after a lifetime of running, find her way home. The waves lapped at her ankles, the sun warm on her face. And Samantha Ray, once a woman haunted by shadows, now stood tall and unafraid in the light. She was free. She was loved. And she was exactly where she was meant to be.